Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Kendall and I are both here. Hello. Hi. We are going to a restaurant today that was recommended by one of our subscribers. Yeah, one of our subscribers. So big shout out to Gary R. Gary, thank you for the suggestion. We're excited to try it out. Yeah, and if the place stinks, we're gonna blame you. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. So the place is called Butter is Better Diner and Bakery. So we'll see you inside. All right, let's take a look at their menu. Now I know they have breakfast. Kendall's already looking oh, at the yeah. breakfast menu. Love me some breakfast. Yeah. So, um, and remember to pause the video if you want to see things in more detail. I'll try to scan as quickly as I can. And I know that I think the next page is the breakfast. So you can see what all they have here. Lots of things. <laughs> yep, breakfast specialties. And what is this? Oh, more pancakes, pastrami and eggs. Well, there's quite a lot for their breakfast menu. Sausage, mook miffin, mook miffin. Mook miffin. Egg Mook Miffin. I think it's a play on the Egg McMuffin. Oh, okay. And then lunch, they got lunch menu, which is probably what I'm gonna look at. I have no idea yet. Sandwiches, corned beef, pastrami, Reuben. Oh, actually I may do something like the Reuben. They even have barbecue pulled pork. Oh. Coming up. All right. Um, Let's see, onion rings, chili dog, grilled ham and Swiss, roasted chicken, egg salad, sandwich, chicken salad, bacon, lettuce, tomato, macaroni and cheese, turkey breast on rye. So lots of stuff, it, grief, it goes on and on. Pesto, smoked salmon, muffawada, <laughs> ratatouille, chili, Boston clam chowder, my goodness, it's all over the place. Spinach lasagna, creamy Caesar salad, house salad. Thai pumpkin and eggs, never heard of that before. Thai tuna salad. We're everywhere. And then last, the drinks. So hope that gives you an idea of what they have on their menu. Let's see what we get. All right, again, thank you very much, Gary R., for referring us here. This is a cool place. It really is. It's kind of like a 50s diner. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of back in the States, we had a place called Steak and Shake, and it just kind of the inside reminds me a little bit of that. Yeah, and they got plenty of good stuff on their menu, so that's oh, yeah. not an issue. Lots of stuff. It's hard to decide what I wanted. <laughs> We're just glad it's not raining today. It has been raining for the past several days mm -hmm. non-stop all night lots of rain our poor cows this morning across the street are standing in uh, in water mm -hmm. uh, it's so bad but today or at least right at this moment it's not raining even though it's supposed to, the forecast was rain all day long today right. and i know further south in thailand like Pattaya and places like that it's flooding right now so it's yeah. it's kind of rainy so funny story I have to tell you. So it was yesterday we had that driver with the issue. Okay, so Kendall's in the house and uh, I go out of the house to meet one of the food panda, panda. Food panda drivers. And uh, <clears throat> he comes up and he pulls out the food out of the little back area. And I noticed something and I'm staring at it and the Thai guy's like looking, trying to figure out what I'm staring at. So I pointed at it. And a big old scorpion was in the back of his little container with all the food. <laughs> so he, I figured, you know, he, he'll handle that well because he's Thai. He's probably seen him all the time. No, 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 no. He sounded like a, uh, he was very whiny and scared and kind of screamed a little bit through his, uh, the back part yeah. of where he holds all his food. He just threw it on the ground. Yeah, I was standing in the house looking out the window. I'm like, why is he throwing that bag on the ground? What is going so, on? Yeah, so Kendall's looking at all this through the window going, what's going on? Yeah. 
and this guy's trying to kill that scorpion and it, it was it was funny you had to see that but so. then when he got the food inside i'm like oh i hope there's not a scorpion in our food so right. we just looked through just to make sure there and, wasn't an and part of our scorpion. orders were fries so yeah. we dumped out the fries thinking that a scorpion maybe a smaller one could be in our fries <laughs> so yeah that was our event yesterday so kendall's got her food but mm -hmm. before she eats we got to tell you one more thing so yeah, or this is about last night. So last week, Kendall decided to buy a mattress topper right. for our bed. And this was after we stayed at the Reverie Siam because they had a really comfy mattress topper on their bed. And I slept so good and I'm like, ooh, we really need to get one of those. So she gets one and I warn her, you know, the dogs always sleep in the bed with us. She may want to get a, a topper. Or no. Like a waterproof cover yeah. to go over the topper. Which is back ordered. But we did receive the mattress topper. So I kind of warned Kendall ahead of time. I'm like, man, you just wait. You don't have that top or that plastic waterproof thing, thing on there. And she's wanting to use it now. And it is very comfortable. It is. So last night, of course. About 3.30 in the morning, I think. Our dog decides while we're asleep to be sick and throws up all over. <laughs> on this, my side of the This bed. brand new <laughs> topper. Yeah. And of course, Kendall's jumps up and it's all over her foot yeah, and she oh. jumps and this is a great thing to talk yeah, about that's right making before me we eat so she appetizer. jumps up going crazy dogs freaked out pukes all over the bed all over her foot and she's like oh no the topper it's gonna leak through so we ripped off the sheets of course it went right on that five inch uh, mattress topper <laughs> thankfully it wasn't too bad though so yeah that that was our night last night and Kim was going clean it with something she didn't have her glasses on I'm trying to find something to clean it with the dogs are running around yeah, it was fun at 3 30 in the morning and it's raining outside and, yeah. yeah but other than that <laughs> we'll forget all that nastiness and uh, I'll show you what Kendall's food looks like so there's Kendall's pancakes and her sausage which looks amazing and I went with the uh, pulled pork sandwich and uh, I think I've got potatoes and coleslaw so that's what I got to eat so time to eat oh yeah Kindle and I are Kindle and I are trying to eat but see this cat over here he keeps staring at my GoPro that's sitting on the seat there look at it it's just intently staring at my GoPro it's not even on They're creeping me out cat all right well thank you Gary that was a great recommendation the food was outstanding we was really delicious yeah Kindle <laughs> stuffed yeah <laughs> she's hurting all right, and I ate her other pancakes, so now I'm hurting too. All right, Kendall and I are about to have dessert at a place that one of our subscribers told us about called Sweet Garden. So we're going to show you what this is all about because there's a lot more to it than what you can see from the front. So the really cool thing about this place is out here. They basically have coffees and teas and then just a few desserts they had a brownie and a cheesecake and things like that but look at this view behind you so you can sit out here and enjoy a drink or you know a dessert or both like we are and uh be here where it's beautiful with this lake right here so it's actually really nice all right so we got our brownie mm -hmm. and our drinks thai teas brownie this is a neat place now the subscriber that told us about this place, uh, Rusty. Bro Rusty, yeah. Yeah. How long ago was it we came here? Uh, maybe about three, three or four three weeks, weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. So we've been here once. As a matter of fact, we're sitting at the same table that uh, we actually met them on. Mm -hmm. And they were nice enough to tell us about this place. Yeah. Now, a shout out to <laughs> Beverly W. First of all, thank you for the Thai tea. Yeah, thank you very much, Beverly. Yes. We really appreciate to Beverly, it. To Beverly. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. We tried to go to your two recommendations. Mm -hmm. One of them being the German place that I can't say the name of it. After something. Something like that. <laughs> when we went there, it was packed. There was no way we were going to video anything there because there was only one table available in this little tiny room. It, it just wasn't going to work. Um, but I'm sure it's a great restaurant because it's packed out. Then we went to the good, good restaurant, restaurant that you... Uh, yeah, it's in the old city. And it's so. called, for all, all the rest of you, it's called the good restaurant. Mm -hmm. So we made it there and... Yeah, we parked. It was hard to get parking. We got parking and the, it was closed. It was closed. 
it just isn't open. So, we ended up having to eat at some place we've eat, eaten many yeah, times before. Because we're like, okay, this is... So, we thought we would have dessert uh, here, uh, where Rusty had brought us one time and showed us this yeah, place. The secret garden. Yeah, so... I'm going to take you on a walk and show you what the rest of this place looks like. So you have this beautiful lake. And this is a little, well, I should say, big tree overlooking the lake. And something over here. I've actually never wandered upon this area before. So you're not getting up those steps. I got it blocked. So here is the bridge. And here's the view off the bridge. So it's a really nice little area here. So there's a lake that goes on both sides. The restaurant's actually right over there. And there's no sense in going too much further because this bridge ends. There's really nothing going on on that other side. It's blocked with a table. But anyway, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. Well, as you can see, the Thai teas are gone. The food's gone. Big surprise there. We've never been one not to have an appetite. So this is a really cool place. I would suggest this for yeah, reading a book. I would say, or if you want to meet some friends for the afternoon and sit by the water and, right. just, you know, drink a little Thai tea, a coffee, whatever. It's yeah, a really cute little place. This would be an excellent meeting spot. It's mm -hmm. right off the highway, so, yeah. but when you walk through the front door and everything, you kind of get away from it. It feels like you're back in nature again. Right, and it's pr it's very close to Michok, Ramchok, if you're familiar with that area, very close. Right, and remember, they don't really have food. It's not like a restaurant. Right, it's uh, drinks and desserts and, yes. yeah. Yeah, so, well, if you haven't already, we really would appreciate it if you would subscribe and like. Yeah, We're trying hard to hit a thousand subscribers by yeah. Kendall's birthday. Which is New Year's Eve. Yes, she was daddy's little tax deduction. Yeah, yeah. so if we do before, that'd be awesome, but at least by my birthday. if you feel so inclined, feel free to buy us a coffee, which for us is going to be a Thai tea, yeah. just like these. Yeah. And these are from Beverly W. Thank you very much. Thank you again, Beverly. And, and thank you, Bro Rusty and his wife, for the suggestion of this place. And we love meeting him here. We had a wonderful time a few weeks ago. Absolutely. All right. Well, stay tuned to our, our channel. You never know where we're going or what we're going to do. So, so thank you for watching. And as we like to end our videos by saying, Kapunkra. Kapunkra.